Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today, spare the moment, I decided to, I'm going to do a vlog today. I haven't done one in a really long time and I enjoy making them and I thought it would be a good idea to um, kind of kick off the rust of vlogging because I plan to do some vlogging when we go on our big camping trip next week. So, with that being said, I'm sitting out here in the backyard. It is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I got the babies out running around for their morning constitution. <laughs> um, this morning, I just got back from picking Joe up from work. She works the late shift last night. So, um, I've got to get Jazz, not Jasmine. I've got to get Zoe up for school here real soon. Classes start. She's in her last week of school. Um, she is doing it from home right now. So, it's kind of nice, actually. This homeschooling kind of thing is, it's kind of a nice thing. Um, so anyways, she, I gotta wake her up here, but I thought I would go around the yard and show you what's blooming right now. My peonies have started blooming. I'm so excited about it. I'm hoping later today, oh, I just got bit by a fly. Um, I'm hoping that later today I'm going to get some picked and make a little bouquet out of them. So that'll be pretty. So I'm going to take you around the yard real quick, show you a few things, then we'll get into the house. So today's the main project is going to be cleaning or deep cleaning the sun porch. I'm a little behind schedule on doing this. I normally like to do it in May. Well, it's already June, so <laughs> it needs to be done. So then I can decorate it for the summer, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, that is my main goal for today. I also will have to take Joe to her work this afternoon and of course keep an eye on Zoe for school. And I would like to get out into the garden, but I'm just gonna do some minor things in the garden today. I don't know if you've been watching my gardening videos at all, but I have been working a lot of labor intensive sort of jobs in the garden. So I'm gonna take a little break from that for today at least. I'll start up with that again tomorrow. It is going to be a beautiful day here in Minnesota, but um, it's definitely going to be another scorcher. It's supposed to be the 90s again, which is not cool, but <laughs> we're surviving. At least it's not very humid, which is good. So I'm going to let the babies play around. I'll show you some flowers, and then I'm going to get inside and, you know, maybe brush my teeth and do my hair, maybe throw on some makeup for the day, and then I'll get started on my chores. you guys I really haven't done anything out here this year at all so I'll just share with you what's already out here 
Um, it's looking pretty nice. Everything's grown up real nicely. I definitely need to get some weeding and some mulching done out here, but that's for another day. This garden bed over here. Day lilies, day lilies. Got some moving coriopsis over there. And then that shrub right there it needs to be, I need to do some pruning. This shrub is a burning bush that I cut back way back a couple years ago. It is not recovered well. So I'm gonna take that out this year along with that one over there. And I have this huge hostel, look at that. And then some boxwoods that need to be trimmed up. And then I got the snow on the mountain over here under the tree. I just love the mass planting of the snow on the mountain. I think it is so pretty. Got some hostas in there. And there is one. I don't know if you can see it or not. There is one hydrangea. It's been there for like three years and hasn't done anything. So I'm thinking I might need to move it. Got some more hostas tucked in over there. And then I get these shoots off the tree which is really annoying so I gotta get those cut down too but that's the front yard for right now and of course pink hydrain or pink geraniums are my favorite so here is what the porch is looking like right now I've got a lot of remnants of last year's decor dog toys and just dust as you can imagine, it gets pretty dirty out here because we keep the windows open most of the time, most of the year. So it just needs a deep cleaning, some scrubbing of the windows, and dusting and doing the floors, and then we can get into decorating this. But that won't come today. Today it'll probably, probably take me most of the day to get this area cleaned up. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick up all of the leftover decor pieces that I know I'm not going to be using this year and bring them into the house to get those cleaned up and then I can get those put away. Your grandma's found her favorite spot. She loves it out here. take as long as I thought it was. About half of the stuff I think I kept out here because I may use it. I'm not sure. Um, I do have some tables that I'm probably going to remove. But once again, I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to move on to the cleaning. I'm going to start out with the windows. These take, this takes the longest time. Because I only do this once a year, um, I normally go over the windows twice. The first time I'll go over it with some sort of cleaner and wipe it all down with water and clean it off. Then I'll go back in again and actually clean the windows with um, like a, a window cleaner. So first off, I'm gonna start off with my method cleaner. This is lime and sea salt. I don't have very much left. It probably not, will not do the whole job, but I've got other stuff I can use. But I'm gonna start out with this because it smells so good. And it should do a good, good job on cleaning all the grime off from the walls and the windows. So I basically just spray it off and then wipe it down with a clean rag and rinse off the rag in a bucket of water. So that's basically all I'm gonna be doing for probably in the next hour or so. So let's get started.
So I've been working out here for about, I don't know, a couple hours. It's about noon right now. And I need to take a break. My arms are getting a little sore. And I need to go do some grocery shopping. But I have half of it done. I'll show you what I mean. So I've done from this corner all the way around to this window. So now I just need to do these windows over here. So I'm getting there. <laughs> it takes a long time because it's really putsy. I not only do the windows, but I do all of the, like it's metal is what it's made out of. I'll show you a little closer. So it's made out of metal. So I do all these little grooves and then down here on the bottom as well. <laughs> So it's a little, po it's like very putsy and a lot of, you know, wiping down and rewiping and all that kind of stuff. So actually I'm really happy with how quickly it's going. So I'm going to go to the grocery shopping and get some lunch in me and then I'll do the rest of the room after lunchtime. talk to you. I went to the grocery store, came home, started doing some meal prepping until it was time to take Jo to her second job of today. So I just dropped her off and now I'm going to be heading home and I'll show you what I've been putting together for lunches for my husband and I um, for the week and then I'm going to actually sit down and have my lunch. So I am so hungry. It's already like almost three o'clock and I have yet to have lunch. But that's all right day is flying by. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I will check in with you once I get home. So I'm back at home and the babies are wanting a treat, but they can wait just a minute. I will quickly share with you what I have done. It feels like it. <laughs> so I'll share with you real quickly my meal prep for lunches that I've done. Let me turn the camera around real quick. Okay. So for lunches, I have been eating a lot of vegetables and lettuce wraps. So I did celery. And then in this one, I've got my carrots all ready to go, all washed up. Look at this, how fun. I get to use my vintage containers. And I have some strawberries. And then this is what took me the most time. And then I made up this whole thing of lettuce sandwiches. Well, that's what we call them anyways. They're basically lettuce wraps. One piece of lunch meat. We're using turkey or roast beef and a little bit of cheese. I just use like the deli cheese and I slice it into three little pieces. So a big piece of lettuce gets two pieces, basically. And then I have some turkey ones also, and these are so good, so delicious. Normally I will slice up some tomato right before I you know, go to eat them and tuck in some tomato for myself because I love the tomatoes. So that is what I've got done. I've got all those all taken care of. So we've got lunch sandwiches for the rest of the week which is awesome. I've also been making up hard boiled eggs because my husband really likes those and it's a nice little protein, um, but I've sort of run out of time. So I will probably make those tonight while I'm making dinner. Just do that off on the side. So that'll be nice to have done. So I've got all of our prep stuff ready for lunchtime, which is awesome. So, all right. So now I'm actually gonna eat my lunch, which I'm very excited about. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi there. <laughs> So it's a couple hours later. I've had my lunch and a nap. Um, and so it's about seven o'clock already. The day is just flying by. But now I have a lot more energy. And it's a good thing because it is so hot out here on this porch. I'm gonna get myself a fan and hopefully that will help. So like I said, I got about halfway through with cleaning up the walls and the windows. So I'm gonna start and do this other half over here. And hopefully I will get that done and then I'll go back and wash the windows. While I was at the store, I picked up another bottle of my method cleaner because I did run out of the other one that I had. So I've got a new bottle of that. I've got a new bottle of window cleaner, which I'll show that to you later when I'm to that point. So 
I'm going to find a fan because that will probably help out here because it is just hot, you guys. Not fun. But I would love to get this room cleaned up today completely. So I am going to try to finish it up. I don't have to do anything until 9.30 tonight. So I've got a couple hours here before I have to go pick up Joe from work at 10. So I should be able to get this done. So let's hope so. Cross your fingers and I'm going to get to work. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. I have finally finished all of the windows all the way around, which is awesome. I have the light on in front of me. I'm losing daylight in here <laughs> very quickly. So it's already 9 o'clock. I'm running out of daylight, but I am determined to get this place clean today. I have a half hour before I need to go pick up Joe from work, and I think I can go in and do at least three panes of the window glass with my window glass cleaner. Because before I was just using, you know, it just gets so, there gets like a scum of like dirt on the windows. And if you just use a window window cleaner, it takes forever. So it's I have found it's easier to wash everything down with a nice cleaner, then go back and um, clean the windows with a window cleaner. This is my favorite. This stuff is awesome. It is a sprayway glass cleaner. It comes out as a foam. It makes no streaks. I love this stuff. My mom told me about it and she's like, this is the best stuff ever. I'm like, all right, I will try it. And it is awesome. So I will link it down below for sure. Um, along with the cleaner that I used today, if you guys are interested at all. So like I said, I have a half hour. I'm going to get these windows, at least two or three of them, washed up with this stuff. And I'll go pick up Joe and then I'll come back and finish up the room. Because really, all I have to do is clean the windows, not the walls this time. So this is like the easy part. And then I just need to vacuum and I'm done. So I probably have like another hour, hour and a half of work to do out here. And oh my gosh, you guys, I feel <laughs> like I probably should have lost like 10 pounds in water weight today because I am a filthy, sweaty mess. I feel like a, a sponge. I feel like a wet sponge. I can't believe that my clothes even look like remotely dry because I just feel like I'm just sopping wet. My eyeballs, my eyeballs, you guys, we're sweating today. <laughs> it's just too hot. Anyways, that being said, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm actually going to go get some work done so that I can get something done here before I have to go get Joe. All right, here we go. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I was able to get quite a bit of the windows done. Let me show you. So I did this window all the way around to this side, and then I did the outside on this bank of windows. This bank of windows, because we have the deck here, is the only one that I can actually get to to clean the outside. The other ones, I'm gonna have to get some of that Windex spray stuff that you hook up to the hose. So that's what I will do for those on the outside. So um, I still gotta do this side over here. So I have about, so I'm about halfway done with the windows. Shouldn't take me much longer. Um, this side probably only took me 10, 15 minutes. So the other side will actually go quicker because I'm only doing the insides. Um, but I have to go get Joe in five minutes I have to leave. So I will go get Joe, come back, finish up the windows. Then I will vacuum the floors and get all the furniture back where it's supposed to be. And then I can call it a day. So I am excited to have gotten all this work done. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So it's completely dark out now. I'm back from picking up a kid from work. And now I can get the rest of these windows washed up. Then we can do some vacuuming. We can get this furniture back in place. So 
here we go. All the furniture is back, the vacuum, the floors, and the whole room is nice and cleaned and refreshed. So next up is decorating. I'll probably do that in a couple of days. Decorate it up for the summer, and I can enjoy this space for the summertime. I'm so excited. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye now.